This video explains how to create a non-redundant version of the expand grid function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example vector, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector object called x is appearing at the top right. And we can print the content of this vector by running line three of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object containing the three letters a, b, and c. Now, if we would apply the expand.grid function to this vector, we could do that as you can see in line five of the code. So after running line five of the code, you can see that at the top right of our studio, a new data set object is appearing, which is called data exp g. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that the expand.grid function has created a data frame containing two columns. And the rows of this data frame show the different combinations that are available in our vector x. So as you can see, it's possible to have the combination AA, BA, CA, and so on. However, you can also see that some of these combinations are redundant because, for instance, the combination CA that you can see in line three of the code is also appearing in line seven of this data set, just with an opposite ordering. So let's assume that we want to find all combinations of our vector object without redundancy. Then we can apply the comp n function instead of the expand grid function, as you can see in line eight of the code. And within this function, we simply need to specify the name of our vector and the value two. And in this case, I'm also storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling data comp n. So after running line eight of the code, you can see that a new data object called data comp n is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And now you can see that we have created a matrix. This matrix contains two rows and three columns. And each of the columns contains one possible combination without redundancy. So for instance, the combination AC is appearing only once. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.